Hi everyone, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and on today's episode I bring to you mozzarella sticks. So let's walk over to the ingredients so we can get started. Here we have seasoned bread crumbs. We're going to need two eggs or perhaps more. We have some all-purpose flour. I got one-fourth teaspoon more salt and one-fourth teaspoon of pepper. And then the star of the show, the mozzarella sticks. I preferred to get the single package ones because they're already cut and they're ready to go. So you don't have to um, worry about cutting the uh, brick of cheese. It's all uniform. These were the single servings. These are full milk. You can use two person as well. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to crack my eggs. This is a really easy, so tasty finger food that I know all of you probably and what a few times in your life have tasted it in restaurants, but it's so much better when you make it at home. You can have as much or as little as you want. And this is what we're gonna do. I also have the, I season this as well because even though cheap, oh, so I'm just beating the eggs together and then I'm just gonna mix together the salt and pepper. Because even though the breadcrumbs are seasoned and the, um, the cheese are normally a little bit salty. I just want to make sure that we have a balance of flavor. So not too much of salt in that. Okay, really easy, really simple. Let's get right to it. You're gonna, you can use a brick of cheese if you want and just cut it thinly according to you to what you want but this was just simpler just remove the packaging and everything is in you know you know unisex you know uniform i'm sorry all right now we're gonna dip it in here first and we're gonna dredge it up okay you see excellent then we're gonna place it in the egg mixture Okay, make sure. All right, then I'm gonna put it back in here. And okay, then you dredge it completely. Then, you, all right, after you finish dredging it in the flour, put it back in the egg one last time. And then I'm gonna put it in the And just make sure it gets fully drenched. This gives you crunch and security that when it fries, it's not going to ooze out. And there you have it. Okay. And then you set aside. I'll show you one more time. Cheese. Dredge it in the flour first. Put it in the egg mixture. Make sure everything is well covered. Put it back in the flour mixture. Shake any excess off. Back in the egg. in the breadcrumbs, ensuring that all the breadcrumbs are sticking through. All right, so I'm gonna continue this process at so, and I'll see you right back. 
So stick around as I wash my hands and continue on the rest of the procedure. Hi everybody, welcome back. So what I did here was I placed these bad boys in the freezer. Remember I said two to three hours, but I did it overnight. So that way I can have it today. And I just let it thaw out for like 20 minutes. I got two cups of um, vegetable oil. You could use corn oil, canola oil, any clear oil will do. I'm using a small pot so it could, you know, fill up more of the oils. I don't have to waste so much. Um, if you have a food thermometer, um, actually, an, you know, a candy thermometer thermometer sorry um the oil has to reach up to 325 but um i, I didn't want to take mine out so i know when it's going to be really really hot so now it's time to put it in i don't want to get burned so i'm going to use my all right so you make sure guys that you don't pack the pan and you should put a minimum of, I don't know, three or four, depending on the size of the pan that you're frying in, because the temperature will go down. And then, of course, you want it nice and crispy, not soggy. Now, remember, when you're dredging it in the flour and the uh, breadcrumbs mixture, um, make sure that it, you packed it really well, where you don't see no white spots of the cheese, the mozzarella cheese. Um, you can dredge it a few times in the corn, I'm sorry, in the bread uh, crumbs just to make sure that, you know, it's everything is fully coated, plays in the freezer. It's a perfect time if you want to prepare in ahead of time and just put in the Ziploc bags in the freezer. That way you'll have, always will have fresh um, breaded mozzarella sticks and you can Take it out whenever you want to fry. So that's a good gesture too. So I'm gonna wait for these guys to get darkened in both sides. Then we will test it out. So see you right back. All right, so I'm taking out my last cheese stick. Some of them broke open. It happens, it's still okay. It's still gonna taste fabulous. And this is a great appetizer to make when you have guests come. All right, so I took my last ones out. They opened up and sometimes it happens, mistakes happen, right? They're still edible, they're still delicious, and they still will have cheese in it. Now, I took one to the side just to give you a taste test. I got some. Okay. And give a little sneak peek at this. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Why go out? Let's take this one. Why go out to a restaurant and buy overpriced appetizers when you can enjoy them right at home? Mm, 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 mm. Amazing. If you have some favorite appetizers you would like me to make, let me know. Leave a comment below. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.